Cool, we're live. All right, I'm Sam. And I'm Samri. Welcome to the Lines Between the, the Stars, Stars podcast. podcast. Uh, t- we took a break last week. Yeah, yeah. And I have not combed my hair. You you have gotten ready to look your. I haven't put proper. makeup on, so. Yeah, but like you have lipstick. Mm. That's true. You have That's lipstick true. on. I I'm just like ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know when 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 you're working from home all the time and then you're just like, I don't want to like even bother looking good for like the Zoom meeting this morning. <laughs> oh, you had a Zoom meeting. I have a Zoom meeting every day. Oh, okay. I have a Zoom meeting every day, but I'm just like, ugh, whatever. We already know that we're all working from home and we're working in pajamas right now. Yeah. I'll be starting a coding boot camp. Mm-hmm. And I can already feel the Zoom fatigue. Like, yeah. I'm not looking forward to being, like, being presentable in front of a, you know, a camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's I, exhausting. I remember, like, first, like... The first couple months, I, like, tried to look presentable, you know, w- w- wore, like, a nice shirt, you know, oh, like, okay. not, you know, just, like, maybe a polo t-shirt and maybe, yeah. like, do my hair a little bit, maybe even shave beforehand, but now I'm just, like, I couldn't be bothered. Yeah. I, I don't care anymore. Yeah, you guys, plus you're in tech. Yeah, like, I'm in tech, so. Tech bros are uh, famously like, very, like. Blase yeah. when it comes to that sort of thing. Like you can overdress for a tech interview when you're doing like really? software development. Yeah, yeah. Like I've gone, to, I've gone to an interview where I like wear like the whole like you know like you know dress shirt, and yeah. tie, dress shirt and tie, and people are like, oh, like why are oh. you wearing a dress shirt? Oh, okay. You know, like it, it's it's kind of like one of the things where actively sometimes in some places it will like it's a detriment actually. Okay. Yeah, just like pop in with like jeans and uh, t shirt jeans and t shirts actually better off. I guess that's a good tip. I mean, I don't think it's the same for women, because uh, I think people expect women to like present Look a, a certain s- way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember there was yeah. a set. I think there was like a study done where like men were given a uh, bunch of pictures of women with like various degrees of makeup on okay and then like like natural style makeup they thought that that was like no makeup yeah and then they saw no makeup and they thought it was like is she sick or yeah. something like that it's like oh boy yep yep it does take a lot of work mm. as uh i guess a woman yep it looks like i'm wearing makeup though right yeah or no yeah makeup i don't know Okay. <laughs> your suit's also really nice and shiny, so you're yeah. good there. You're good there. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so these days I've been obsessing over drum major. Yeah. Like the whole, um, especially in HBCUs or like mm-hmm. majority black high schools in the South. Okay. And I don't know what the term is for the girls and women who do the whole like like cheerleaders no 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 like they're separate from cheerleaders they okay. only show up with like they show up behind the drumline major uh guys and then mm-hmm. um yeah they always show up with uh marching yeah. band yeah and uh they dance to the marching band yeah. music yeah. Uh, but I don't know what they're called. Yeah. I think I, I'm going to use the blanket umbrella term cheerleader because that is kind of like what they're che- they're cheering on their school, right? That, yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's like the whole basis of it. Yeah, yeah. This technique and style of it can be different. Yeah. Because uh, there is um, mm. there is Japanese cheerleading called Oendan. Oh, okay. Which is like you think in America when you think cheerleading, you think, oh, like, you know, girl young girls pom- frilly pom-poms yeah, yeah. but in, like a wendon is like hyper masculine everyone's wearing the gyakudan school uniform with all headband with headbands white gloves and stuff like that and they just pretty much shout they just shout like go <laughs> like Wait, and they do like choreograph da- they do like choreograph dances and stuff like that it's neat interesting i'll look it up on <clears throat> so we you guys can see the so how do you spell it? Uh, let's see. I think it's O U E N D A N. I think. 
Oh, uh, there's, a, there's a game. There's a game. There's a game on. There's a game on that. But like, um, it's like this style. It's um, let's see. Yeah, it's just. Oh, there's a lot of anime. There's a lot of anime. Oh, okay. Anime things. Or let me Welcome see. Uh, I think it's uh, Japanese male cheer. Oh, so it's male. Yeah, it's 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 specifically male. It's oh. Yeah. Oh, and okay, I, I spelled it wrong. I spelled it wrong. O e n d a n. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, it's like um, this whole thing of like you know they like they That's wave like... a flag. They wave a flag. They're this <laughs> traditional. They they've incorporated traditional cheerleading in their in yeah. their things too. Yeah, but yeah. it's definitely like a lot different from like what you see from uh, like stereotypical <laughs> stuff. But yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. But yeah, like uh, it's like part of their cult. It is like part of the culture, and they just shout super hard wearing headbands. They like drum with like taiko drum, like big drums. Oh okay. You know, like the big taiko drums, like bum bum bum. Oh okay, that that's pretty cool actually. Yeah yeah. There was this uh, K-pop mm-hmm. uh, dance routine where they like, well, they don't actually have drums, but they yeah. like go they like this. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> kind of obsessed with that yeah but um yeah that's 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 what i know that's what i know but yeah the that's i think cheerleading is really intense mm-hmm. you know um also like another fun fun fact a lot of these cheerleading cheerleading places like uh forgot like one cheerleading is athletically intensive like no joke it is super oh like, yeah intensive especially like the acrobatic kind okay um I remember when I was in high school, they were actually trying to recruit more guys into doing um, uh, doing cheerleading routines because, like, guys make, like, a more powerful base for the most part, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, to carry them? Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, and throw them and catch yeah, yeah. them and all that so, stuff. So, like, they were lo- like they were, there was um, one, uh, or one guy in my class actually, like, uh, who, uh, ch- uh, joined, the cheerle- uh, joined the cheerleading squad. In high school? In high school, yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. I mm-hmm. I actually admire, yeah, the, the boys and men who go into it. Yeah. Uh, cause I, I feel like you have to be secure in your sexuality. Yeah. Well, he was gay, so. Oh, was, okay, okay. That, that was I a mean, major thing. So. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was okay. So so growing up in yeah, like yeah. our generation. So right now, I think Gen Z is pretty woke. All things considering, they're more okay with like you know they don't, you know they're more okay with like you know. Mm-hmm homosexual uh, you know like home like different sexualities coming out, coming yeah out of the closet when i was in school like i'm you know we're millennials and we yeah. get credited for being like hyper woke and stuff like that growing up we w- wasn't like that at all it wasn't really that like that it was no. pretty like dera- you know like people use the f word for like mm. ooh, all the time and it wasn't even considered a swear word mm. and like you know calling someone gay was an insult yeah 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 right so that was my that was like when my generation was young, right? Nowadays though, like I feel like, you know, when like to put like an analogy, people have the internet and then they can go they they can talk to other gay people in the closet. You know? Mm. Or like other LGBTQ members in the closet, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Right? So it's they safer. have a safe they have a safe spot. They have a safe space because like yeah, yeah. when you're in our generations when the internet wasn't as like fleshed out as much, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like what were we gonna do for like contact with other people or like support? Yeah, and uh, apparently the dark web mm-hmm. has more space than the internet. Really? Yeah, yeah. Like there's mm-hmm. more in the dark web than there is in like what we know of as the world wide web so yeah. there's like way more stuff in the dark web hmm. but okay. it's not safe yeah but like you know like the internet allows people from like all over the world to like communicate with one another right they look like soldiers like yeah because it was like it it has its roots in like japanese imperialism you know japanese imperialism oh, stuff like that okay. right where you know they had schools and like a lot of times the schools were just like military training grounds essentially mm. like they would like take the kids and like start building, using them to like assemble bombs and stuff like that oh wow yeah and that would be considered as like training right 
and they're like, yeah, like you're doing this for the good of your country, stuff like that, you know. Oh, so it's from the Second mm. World War? Yeah, roughly okay. like Second World War. Interesting. Yeah. I think nowadays it's more like this. I don't yeah, know yeah. if if uh, this has died out. And yeah, I honestly, like I think the uh, the Japanese wandan is starting to die out, and it's okay. being more replaced with like the the uh, like the church. the more Western. Yeah, the more Westernized okay. style. It looks better, to be honest. <laughs> they look scary if it's just like. Oh, I like it. I like it. It's like, yeah, it, it's like you know like, the it, anime. It, 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 it like pumps you up. It pumps you up. You know. Okay. Uh, ooh. Yeah. Okay, let me look up drumline majors mm -hmm. from the U.S. Uh, be careful about like watch putting up videos because like you know we might get like content strict. Hi. Drumline major. Um. Okay. Also, I can't play the. No, you cannot. I would not do. I would not do that. Uh, but another thing too about um, like for me, I even like playing in the band is like really intensive too. Like imagine being a tuba player and you got to walk like you know like all that like all that choreographing while carrying like a tuba, you know, mm. or like a trombone, like you know any of the instruments really. Like you're walking around and like playing instruments and like you know you gotta be like. Somewhat in shape too. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, you told me how your back is straight because of the training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in band. good posture. Like band, band requires good posture because with good posture you get good breathing. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah, good breathing because if you're hunched over, you don't breathe as well. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, I also was a tuba player, uh, or I was I started trumpet, and then from trumpet I went to tuba. Because I thought, because well, in my case is because like I was, I was within the first trumpets, which is you know when you have your instruments, you have first, second, third, and like first is like always like okay, these are the best of our trumpet play, these are our best players. They get all like the higher notes, they get the more complicated pieces, and then like uh, the uh, the second and thirds get like the more like background pieces, the more like the oh, background okay, okay. pieces, right? So like second and third are like beginners. Yeah, there are usually people who like aren't as good. Like it's just mostly just oh. skill. Like, are you good? And are you how or how good are you? And then you know, first trump, you know, first trumpet, you know, like mm -hmm. the first tier instruments get the solos too. You know. Oh okay. Right. Um, I was bottom of the first trumpet, so I was like the worst of the good of the oh. good players. <laughs> okay. And I was like, we only got like one tuba player. I could probably get first tuba. <laughs> Perfect. So yeah, I yeah. went in. I went in. I went in. And I was like, yeah, I totally got one hundred percent. Got first tuba. Yeah, it, it is. It is a valid uh, strategy, I guess. Yeah, and actually, yeah. like the band sounded better because we had a second tuba player, right? Oh, okay. Because you needed that bass, and like honestly, like it increased my like. Per I, I think that helped out with like my ability to project my voice too, right? Because you need a lot of air to like blow air into a tuba. So uh, when I'm talking about drum majors or mm -hmm. drumline majors or matching band majors, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I first, I guess, like in my YouTube recommendation, mm -hmm. they were showing uh, Vanilla Funk and yeah. his team of, uh, I guess, majors from. Yeah. They're from Alabama. Okay. Um. So you said no video. Ah, no video, no video. Dang it. Um, but they, okay, so the women over here, behind mm -hmm. him, those ones, I can, like, watch them forever. Okay. It kind of calms me down. Right. Like, when I'm having a bad day, I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, like, you know, the, the nice hip movements. Yeah. Uh, if you guys know what uh, they're called, please put it in the comment so, section something that i want to bring up when i, I was watching them is like these guys have like these canes and i was like are these guys just strutting along with like pimp canes and just doing a pimp walk yeah yeah <laughs> it's they, like 100 they are it does look like they're doing a pimp walk yeah i know so i was like okay but from yeah. like the 60s 70s mm -hmm. kind of movies yeah yeah um let's see what else so your your youtube recommended list is all about like these drum lines right yeah. My recommended YouTube list has been like dentist videos of like 
cavity like videos of cavities being done for some reason. I'm like, hmm. And I click on it, I'm clicking on them and watching them anyways. But it kind of makes me like stuff like that kind of motivates me to like brush, like take good care of my teeth, you know? Oh, okay. I say that I Lost. look at these and I'm like, I don't want this to happen to my mouth, so yeah. I'm just gonna like b make sure I brush. Yeah, and floss every day. Yeah. yeah, that is something that like you know like people apparently don't know how to do like as an adult, you know like as adults, mm -hmm. you know, and they never learned how to brush when they were kids. Yeah, yeah, it's something actually. Um, I went to a dentist in training. Mm -hmm. One of my friends is. Um, studying how to be a dentist and she needs patients to practice on mm -hmm. and I volunteered and she was like okay this is how you you know go up and down with the floss so there is yeah a right way of doing it and a wrong yeah, way of they're, doing they're, it, so. yeah. but yeah. like even just like brushing teeth like people like mm -hmm. don't brush their teeth yeah you know I, um, I remember I remember some friends like growing up they just had like remember they had like terrible teeth or like, you know, when they were, every time we just brush our teeth, like, you know how like when you don't floss for a while and you're like, bleeds gum, your gums mm, bleed? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they would brush their teeth and their gums would bleed. Oh yeah. So I was like, wow, mm. like your gum health is terrible, your, your, your mouth health is terrible. And then yeah. There was always like, you know, like the, for the you know for them it's like oh yeah like i hate going to the dentist it's like always this nerve-wracking experience right mm -hmm. and i remember being like my dentist's appearances are like cake like i just go in and they just are like okay like mm -hmm. you know they just check real quick clean my teeth up a bit and he's like all right get out yeah yeah it's still like that now it's still like that now you know i go in and then they get my like they clean my teeth a bit and then like they check things out for cavities and like okay get out and I also recommend the electric toothbrushes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're more powerful and it feels cleaner. Yeah, I than... use a I use a Sonicare. Yeah. I use a Sonicare. It's like mm -hmm. a very expensive toothbrush, but you know what? We're not being sponsored by Sonicare. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so. that's true. But yeah, like ever since I got a really nice toothbrush, it's like oh yeah, I haven't had any issues like going to the dentist or anything like that. Yeah. Let's see if okay. someone has commented. So we're on uh, Lines Between the Stars on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just, uh, the difference is is that you'll get a little bit of a delay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on the YouTube live, but then you can like send us comments, ask us questions. We'll probably get around to answering them. Yeah. Yeah. So Lines Between the Stars. Yeah. Um, yeah, what else are we into? Um, see so i think we we talked about this a while ago but we uh were what like we want as as couples do we watch shows together right mm -hmm. uh one of the shows we watched was uh steven universe yes and steven universe is a really good show um it is it's one of those shows where you can always tell how good a kid's show is mm -hmm. by how well it entertains adults you know, or how well, like as an like as an adult, you can watch it without feeling like your gut is like gonna fall out. I mean, there you. are some ages where like they should like they should be like very. Yeah, like... I mean, like n not like adult content or anything. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. But just like hi making it so that like you know uh, the adults who are watching with their kids can enjoy this too. Yeah, it wouldn't right? be torture. Yeah, like, it makes it so, like, oh, it's like, okay, okay, adults, you, you got guys it. So, like, I feel like that's a show that, like, does that very well, mm. right? Um, it, 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 it respects uh, an individual's emotional intelligence. Yeah, you know? a child's emotional yeah, intelligence. Yeah, it, it re really respects a child's emotional intelligence, and mm -hmm. it even, like, goes against, like, a lot of, like, tropes you see in, like, certain cartoons that you normally see. Like, like um, you know how, like, in certain, like, you know, in kids' media, you see the popular kids are all, like, kind of scummy douchebags. Like, oh, mm. yeah, we're too cool for, we're too cool to hang out with you, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so, like, you have, like, the cool kids in the Steven Universe, and they're legit cool kids! 
Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, they're legit, like, really chill, and, like, I'm like, man, I would love to hang out with these kids if I was, like, their yeah, age, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, and they don't bully anyone. Yeah, they don't bully anyone, and they're actually, like, you know, when they're, they're like, highly respectful, they're highly respectful, right? Where are they? The cool kids. Oh, uh, you have to type it in, because it's mostly going to be the main cast. Uh, spoiler warning, I suppose. Spoiler warning. Is it spoiler to talk about the cool kids? I mean, um, like, in general, we're talking about Steven Universe right now. Yeah, yeah. So, like, okay. you know, like, we're just, in general, blanket spoiler warning for this show. We watched both the first and the second. We, yeah, we watched uh, Steven Universe, we watched the Steven Universe movie, and then we watched Steven Universe Future. So we went through the entire, like, blank, uh, blanket of characters. Do you not remember any of their names? No, but I think you can just type in Cool Kids. Yeah, see? Look. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, like, you know... Yeah, and they were, like, really chill. And, then like, th- th- another thing about the show is, like, all the side characters, all the members of the town, like, are characters that you, like, know about. They mm-hmm. get, like, episodes dedicated to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you even, like, know, like, you get really invested in this, like, small town that, like... Yeah. Normally, a show doesn't have, like so much detail in like its background characters right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like uh I can t- like the kid with the sunglasses is like the mayor's son and he has a complex about that mm-hmm. um the uh the the got the kid with the white hair has like you know he's like a inspiring dj and he has like kind of issues because his like you know his mom remarried uh, mm-hmm. his mom remarried and like his like actual biological dad's kind of a jerk you know and i think he showed up right? yeah he showed up yeah. he showed up yeah and then uh the um uh, the black uh the black girl is like she's part her family owns like the local pizza place she yeah they're sister. caribbean I they're, think. yeah i think they're caribbean or west african i don't know yeah i don't, I don't know. know i don't know <laughs> their, their, gra- their grandma's name is nanapua so yeah nanapua and Nanapua. let's see but yeah, like um, you know, so yeah, they were they were really fun character. They're really his fun younger characters. brother is my um, onion. He's not my favorite as far as like I look forward to. <laughs> you look forward to him. You see him and you're like, oh man, what's he gonna? What, what's this little kid gonna do? Uh, but let's talk about the main cast because uh, okay. We we're, we're, we're kind of like dived into like the side characters right here, but uh, let's talk about uh, yeah Steve the titular character um, Steven Universe. Uh, so yeah, Steven is a young kid who has like a big, huge, heavy responsibility, mm-hmm. in him. and he has because he is a child. He is actually a child, and then he grows up as the series progresses. Yeah, and it's something that like. You when you have a story when you have like a kids show I think that's actually the ones that are really good mm-hmm. like the good kids shows have growth right yes uh, you see a progression of like a kid growing up uh, growing he up he learns things he struggles through like heavy topics yeah like quite yeah. heavy topic like way yeah. too much topics that a child like needs to go yeah. through like life death. Uh, grieving, like, you know, like, grieving over lost loved ones, Mm -hmm. shouldering responsibilities. Like, parents fighting each other or whatever. Well, not quite fighting, but, like... You know, but, like, he's he's raised by the Crystal Gems, who are his three cool lesbian aunties, his three cool lesbian moms. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's see. Let's see. There is Garnet, Sapphire, and Pearl... So Garnet is the purple. She's like yeah, she's she the purple. Brown, actually, brown no, she's purple. purple. Purple skin. Garnet. Oh. Garnet. Garnet is. Uh, she's brown. It's more of a red. It depends on the lighting, I suppose. Yeah, they're supposed to be gems, so yeah. they're not human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Garnet is like um, Garnet's a really cool character, and spo- mm-hmm. spoiler warnings. Um, so gems have this thing of they're able to fuse with other gems, right? And it creates, like, a whole new entity, right? Mm-hmm. So Garnet is a fusion between two gems and is pretty much, like, a representation of, like, their love. And, like... Mm-hmm. And it's a really interesting concept. It's a really interesting concept, right? 
Yeah. And this show is very like LGBTQ like Friendly. very well it's like it's like the main focal point, you know. It's like almost like the main theme like a lot of like the main themes are like LGBTQ, I feel. You know? Yeah. Uh, or at least like I wouldn't say it's like the main main theme. Yeah. It's just like since we've never seen any show like this that has like Yeah. any kind of focus on you know. uh you know different sexualities and yeah. like you know in other old you know in other shows like this like um in other you know other series yo the, the production like the big wigs up would big coward out on these sorts of things right you know like um, you have like topics? yeah or like topics or like even like hinting that a character might be gay mm. right yeah, yeah. Like, that's, like, a thing that happens in a lot of shows where, like, oh, like, um, and, like, even, like, shows made intended for uh, adults, you know? Oh, yeah, Not yeah, kids. Yeah. Not like, kids. Yeah. Adults. Yeah. We'll have characters who are, like, I think that character's supposed to be gay, but then, like, you know, like, some, like, big corporate guys are just, like, oh, we can't have a gay character in, yeah. in the show, you know? Yeah, yeah, and shows, unfortunately, they're written for whoever sponsors the show yeah, yeah yeah whoever pays for it has a say on the topics right right like yeah. there's there is a lot of shows or even like movies where you're like thinking that uh where you look at it and you're like i think they were supposed to be gay you know mm. and like you'll even have the actors like yeah we were trying to push a gay relation we we're trying oh, to push okay. a gay relationship super hard yeah. like in star wars uh poe there's a uh, poe and there is um what's What's Black guy? Finn. Finn. Poe and Finn. Mm -hmm. they're, those actors were trying to push, like, a gay, like, their characters to being, like, gay for each other. Poe and Finn. I don't know. Who Black guy and, like, other guy. Like, the two guys in Star, Star Wars. Wars. We'll come back to Steven yeah. Universe, but I just need to know what they look like. Star. Finn? Yeah. And then? Yeah. Finn. Really? Yes. Yes. Oh. And then Poe, you can look up Poe. Look up uh, Poe. And, P -O. yeah, because Poe, P-O? Yeah, P-O. Or P-O-E, maybe. P-O? Poe, P-O-E. P-O. Yeah. I, I never noticed him, actually. He's, like, a main character. He's, like, in the main... He's, like, part of the main cast. What? I... I think the reason why I didn't notice him is because I was noticing the black guy more. <laughs> yeah. But, like, they're, like, they hang out all the time. Oh, They're, really? like, super, like, they do, they, like, they have, like, a buddy cop routine almost, right? Interesting. So they, like, tried really hard to push for, like, a gay, like for them oh, to be, Oh, there's like, hearts and stuff. Gay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. You know? Fan but art. Disney, Disney, D Disney has... Oh, Disney, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Disney is, like, nah. Of course not. Yeah. It's and Disney. also, it's China. Another part of it's also China as well, right? Were they sponsoring it, or...? Uh, because China... Well, here's the thing, actually. Something that happens in uh, the movie industry. A lot of the movies are uh, catered to the Chinese audience, too. Because it makes up a huge portion of the international market. Like, okay. equal to America. Oh, okay. Like, equal... Like, as far as the number of yeah, viewers? Yeah, in terms of the number of viewers, it is equal. That's why, like, you have, like, certain casting decisions sometimes, because a, a char so an actor might be more popular with, um... A more po character might be more popular in the uh, Chinese market. And that's actually something that, like, the actor for Finn had a lot of trouble in. Like... If you look at the Star Wars, uh, the newest like Star Wars poster, yeah. Finn is removed from oh the poster God. in so, the Chinese version. Okay, so I thought it was mostly because of the American Star Wars fans that like they didn't like how no, they the were introduced the, the Americans. Black man. No, the American fan base loved okay? it. They they loved him. Like, really? They really they wanted more. They the American fan base is actually a lot really disappointed that he didn't get more action. It's mostly and we tend to blame oh like gosh. the Chinese market actually for the lack of uh like Finn representation. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. I mean I knew that like, you know, uh there were 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Issues. There are issues okay. with like the whole Dang, like Star Wars production. So Chinese people don't like black people. No. no. Oh my Here, god. Let's let let me look. Let me show you this uh, poster. Let's see. Uh, Star Wars. I guess don't cancel us. Uh, the. Yeah, and like, Chinese it, people. <laughs> like. So yeah, see see right here. This is the American version where like Finn is like right there, and then here it is in the Chinese poster. Oh my god! <coughs> oh god! That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nuts, isn't it? They just like basically in the Chinese one, they blew up the like the smaller the, star, the starships and stuff like that. You know, like they're like, oh, let's just change change up. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh god. I kind of feel sort of really weird feelings about that. Yeah. John, I mean, John Boyega is also like now he 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 got his paycheck. He's out now. He's tired of the whole. But he 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 he, from interviews he's kind of fed up with Star Wars. Despite being like a really big Star Wars fan, he's kind of like, ah, I don't want. How like, about the Mandalorian? It had the the black dude. Uh, Mandalorian is uh, produced by someone else. Like it is a different like director, and so someone who has a different vision for Star Star Wars. Um, okay. I forgot his name, um, but I really like him, and he actually became like the head of like the Star Wars creative division. So Mandalorian. And Mandalorian is under Disney, or okay, Star Wars is under Disney. Star Wars is under Disney. So oh yeah, John uh, John Favreau. So John Favreau, he made a a couple animated series in the past. Um, he's the one who is making uh, who made Mandalorian, and he's now like creative like head creative executive director of the Star Wars division. So it's mm-hmm. looking so all the okay. show so a lot of the stuff that like you see in um and he did not direct the Star Wars movie. Like he did not direct the new Star Wars movies. That was like John uh some John had a, I can't remember his name. Uh Star Wars director So this guy, John Favreau, he's yeah. more um I guess he's not. He doesn't care about the Chinese audience then. Yeah, J.J. Abrams. J.J. Abrams. Oh, J.J. Okay. Abrams directed. J.J. Uh, Abrams directed Star Wars. You know, he directed the first, the first movie and the third movie. Um, and someone else directed the oh. second movie. That's our food. We can get that later. Oh, okay. Um, but like we, he got the. So I forgot who directed the second movie, but the person. This is something that also happens in comic books when you change writers and you change head. You know, head. You know, the person with the creative vision is that J.J. Abrams had an image, and then this guy who made the second movie did not like that image and changed everything, and then. Okay. J.J. Abrams came on for the third movie, did not like what the guy in the second movie did, and changed it back to, like, what he wanted, what oh, he okay. originally intended. So that's why there's, like, no, like, clear narrative, like... That's why a lot of people don't like the Star Wars movies. Okay. Is that there's no, like, clear narrative, like, focus, right? Yeah. I and mean, yeah. Just, like, people trying to, like, overdo, undo, like, what the last guy did, right? That's why it's difficult for someone who's not into the show as much. Yeah. Like, I don't understand Star Wars as much. I yeah. think because of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because, like, the new Star Wars movie, like, a lot, of the, a lot of Star Wars fans don't like the new Star Wars movies. The one with the the woman? Yeah. With Rey, with that. Not, not in fault of any of the actors. Okay. Or anything like that. They don't like it because of Disney. Because of, like, it's the whole, Disney? like... The writers, like, you know, changing it, the whole narrative cohesion. Mm -hmm. They're disappointed that, like, characters don't get the chance to shine, Mm -hmm. right? And even, like, uh, Finn, the black uh, John Boyega's character, um, he has, there's a whole, like, cut, like, part of, like, the second movie where it's really good, but it never appeared in the actual movie, you know? (laughs) Where he goes and he, like, faces... uh, it's like his um 
face off with uh, Captain Phasma, you know, and he's like, you know, he, the other stormtroopers are there, and he kind of like, he kind of like has like a good, strong character moment, right? Mm. And that got cut out, you know, and that got cut out of the movie, and like, he got it really dirty. He got really dirty, you know? And like, there are, there are fans that like blame the actor, you know? But okay. those are crazy people, you know? <laughs> those are actually crazy people who blame actors for, like, a strong portrayal. Like, don't get me wrong, there are certain parts, like, there is, like, the Asian girl in the second Star Wars movie, where she kind of, you know, she she didn't do anything bad, but, like, the fans didn't like her character. Did we watch it together? We did not watch it together. Okay, so I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But she was Vietnamese. She was a Vietnamese actor. Uh, Vietnamese I actress. should watch it. Is it on HBO? No, it's on Disney Plus. Okay. It's Star Wars. Star Wars, babe. Star Wars, babe. Of course, it's on Disney Plus only. <laughs> but yeah, we can watch all the Star, the new Star Wars films. Now I'm kind of like looking for all of his like the, the Chinese, Chinese posters. <laughs> I mean, like okay. I think the importance of characters, it's definitely her, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know who he is. That's Luke Skywalker. That's uh, Mark Hamm. So they got the actor of, like, Luke Skywalker from the original movies, oh. and then that's him older. Oh, okay. I think he should be a smaller, like... Well, he was a pretty big character for the... For the movie? For the movie, yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, and she's his wife or whatever sister sister who also has those powers because there was a part where like they were kissing or whatever yeah right? yeah yeah so they're not Ex lovers they're or... not lovers okay they're not lovers okay cool sister yeah he found out like the, the star wars was not written all at once it was written as it went so oh, okay. in the second movie there was like, okay, we're going to hint to a relationship. And then the, the, when he did the writing for the third movie, he's like, I think it'd be more interesting if they were like, you know. Actually if siblings. They were, if, they were, if, they were sib if they were siblings, right? Instead. Yeah. I think whenever movies and shows try to do that, I'm like, ew. Yeah. You know, the whole like, oh, they tried something together, sexual, but then, oh, you're actually siblings. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, they didn't actually have a rela like they act they didn't actually get through to a be a relationship through the movie you know through mm. that thing right. Okay. Cool. But uh, yeah, <laughs> let's go you back also to don't care universe. like you also don't care about Star Wars. You yeah. Like that's why I don't really bother watching Star Wars with you because like you don't care about it. I'm more into Star Trek. Yeah, you're. I'm a Trekkie. Yeah, like, you're 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 Trekkie. I think it's because Star Wars is very like grimy. It's more like it really isn't. It, it's actually. a more of. Uh, it's just the content that we've been watching is grimier. Is grimier. Grimier. You know? I feel like, but like the whole the, like the base movies, like the base movies are very yeah. much like standard, like you know, like Positive. good versus evil, good versus evil, you know. Sort yeah, of but then in the movies, whole planets blow up. I mean, Star Trek. Like, they have yeah. a pattern of like blowing up whole civilizations. Like, I mean, mm. okay, in Star Trek, they might have like. I mean, I, we, I guess had they a do war, we had a straight up like war in DS9. Like we had a straight up like war in DS9 where uh, they were talking every episode about how high the death count was because they were fighting the Dominion. Yeah, they were talking about every episode. It's like the death count couldn't be higher. No, no, but like they're soldiers going out to war, so like. Obviously, you can die. Like civilian, survive. civilian casualties too. They were talking about like civilian other planets getting caught in the crossfire too. Oh, like Star Trek does go into like. Here's a thing with like a lot of uh, a lot of the things like you need to you know like there are like stakes involved. You know there are stakes involved, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. Star Wars like like all honesty, like in at least the first Star Wars movie, one planet. Is destroyed. One planet is destroyed, mm -hmm. and they prevent the second planet from being destroyed. Okay. Right. That's the stake. 
Okay. Yeah, that is the stake. And all in the galactic scale of things, that's actually quite low. All things to say. Compared to Star Trek. Cons- compared to, like, Star Trek. Uh, compared to Star Trek. Okay. I mean, okay, so I think also the difference between Star Wars and Star Trek is I feel like Star Wars future mm-hmm. is more um, like our present, filled with like corrupt governments and yeah. wars. But then Star Trek is more of like, okay, we got rid of currency. Yeah. Like, now you can just explore space without having to pay anything. Up until we get to Discovery, where no, there's corruption and there's all that stuff in Picard. That's true. Picard is really grimy. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, warning for audiences. It is. It um, is it's, we're, we're, you're, you're thinking of Star Trek, TN, the golden era of Star Trek. TNG, TNG yeah. uh, DS9, and Voyager. But like Star Trek as a whole, like it's it has a different vibe. It has a different vibe now. Star mm-hmm. Trek as a whole has turn is turning into Star Wars. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. 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 Um, but there are like, but yeah, like there is a lot to Star Wars that like is like thing. But then there's also like you know they have like they have shows that are also less grimier too because like it is a kid because you know. It is marketable, marketable towards kids too. Star Wars, you said. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like they have like the whole like um, they have the whole like Star Wars like Clone Wars series, Clone Wars series, which was marketed towards kids, but then also like kind of went to deep. It did go into like slightly darker topics, but mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. overall, it was like you know kid friendly because they're fighting against robots. Okay. But yeah, let's so, stop see the universe. Yeah, here. it's we, clear that he's he loves. Uh, I like Star a lot Wars. of I like a lot of sci-fi shows. Yeah. You could and a lot of sci-fi goes into like you know like a lot of sci-fi goes into like you know politics and stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. It, even in Star Trek, politics were involved a lot, right? There's always some sort of like corrupt admiral and admiral. In DS9. Or even TNG, you know? In TNG, they had a, quite a few corrupt admirals in TNG. Mm. There are quite a lot of episodes about corrupt admiral episodes where, like, an admiral... Oh, like, in the Federation? Yeah, in the Federation. Like, the whole, like, Riker's backstory is the fact that, like, he, the whole thing where, like, he had a moment where, like, he actually was in part of a big, giant cover-up that was, um where the Federation was actually researching stealth technology when they have this clear, strict rule of not being allowed to research stealth technology. Oh. And then it was, like, a big idea when he, like, had to reveal that, like, the stealth technology when they were being, like, hunted down by Klingons. Oh. I mean, it, I don't think that's corruption. It's just... It is corruption because like, it's, like, it is... It's it, kind of like a Cold War of sorts, like... But, like, people dot, like... People died, like, people died for that cover-up. Oh. Like, there was part, like, the crew was actually, like, you know, in the past, it was like, he, he sided with the captain, but the crew was rebelling against the captain because the captain was corrupt. You know? Oh, like, before they brought on John Luke? Yeah, it was like Riker's past. This was like Riker's past story. I, I also have a very good memory on, like, specific details on, like, yeah. a lot of different things. So, like, I'm like, no, like, this, like, there were, there were episodes in Star Trek where they, they build up a foundation of, uh, you know, like, a good society, mm-hmm. and let's test the limits to that, mm-hmm. you know? That yeah, is, yeah, yeah. That is, that is the thing that happens in Star Trek. It, like, yeah. DS9 is actually, like, the pinnacle of that, where it's, like, it takes the idea of the federation mm-hmm. to its absolute limit by like putting in like a like another like enemy faction that rivals the federation right mm. or maybe is even more powerful yeah yeah right like the and then you got and, and the then Dominion. you got to be like oh like how what it's like at what limits do, do we keep our like values mm-hmm. you know i think that's and that's what ds9's strength is you know 
I think DS9 strength was actually like kind of they did they did taking they did gritty Star Trek well, you know. Because I, I because a lot of people I I consider uh, DS9 to be like gritty Star Trek right before like the modern gritty Star Trek was a thing. Okay. You know, and that's it's doing, grittier than it is. It is a lot gritty. It is a lot was, grittier, mm -hmm. but it was done much better, right? Mm -hmm. It was done much better than uh, like you know, like discoveries, grit, discoveries, and Picard's grittiness. Yeah. Right. I mean, I, I like Discovery. It's not yeah. as gritty as Picard. Picard yeah, yeah, is yeah. just like another level yeah. of like why. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of, like, I, I, I had to force my way to, like, watching, watching through Picard. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're gonna release another one. They're we release enjoyed another one. Uh, Lower Decks. Yeah, Lower Decks is That funny. one is super funny. I love it, because, like, it, it, it takes what we love about, uh, like, TNG, DS9, and Voyager, and just kind of, like, pokes fun at it, and we were like, yeah, because those are all the things that we, uh, that we saw, and we, like, laughed at, too. Like, I joked about it, too. Mm -hmm. like we made that. We made a bunch of those jokes of like, yeah. Um, let's see. But yeah, Lower Decks is a Lower Decks is a fun show. Sorry, we're we're all over the place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, can we check the comments real quick? Hi. Okay. Nothing. Okay, but it was really fun. Like, what else is there? What else is there? In Star Trek. Um, oh, there's Orville, which is Orville. not in Star it's Trek. It's not Star but... Trek, but it is. Yeah. It is one hundred percent Star Trek. It is. It, uh, it's legally distinct Star Trek. It satisfied our show hole for yeah. Star Trek because mm -hmm. we were trying to avoid watching the original version, or what is it? The original the series. The original series and, and, and um, Enterprise. Enterprise, yeah, we're currently watching enterprise because we're like there's no shows we watched everything i mean i have a bunch of shows that i could want that i could like bring that i could like bring but up but you know star it's not star trek it's not like there's a show hole it's just that you just want more star trek because yes. star trek is very like unique in its thing and like we're getting to the point where it's like do we just rewatch star trek yeah mm. <laughs> you know i don't think we well you, you. F we might I feel have like to you, like. I feel like you might need to. We might have to like blaze through the original series. I don't want to go through the. I'll be real. I don't really want to go through the original series. I would much rather just rewatch like TNG. It was really cringy. It's so bad. I mean, like, I get, I get. It's. I mean, it's just dated. It's, 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 it's yeah, too yeah. dated, right? It's um, dated to the point where it's like uh, it's unwatchable, right? Yeah, I don't I want. So. I don't want to. I don't want to sit through. I don't want to sit through that. We might. We could. Maybe we could do the movies because apparently like, the movies are actually pretty good. Because it's more modern. Um. It's. It was. They're made later. They're made later, and then they have like a higher budget, so it's not like TV. Sh it's not like you know. TV oh, it's not sets. like it's, it's not like putting foil in someone's yeah, eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or... It has a bit more yeah, higher yeah, yeah. budget because it's a movie. It's a movie, of course. Yeah. Apparently, the original series, um, they, since it's like very new to the audience, like mm -hmm. people, they were not sure if it was going to last. Yeah. I mean, so. I feel like that's true for Star Trek in general. Like, in TNG, like, when season one, season mm -hmm. one did terribly. Like, uh, one of the producers, like, literally had to actually beg investors to, like, stay on. Otherwise, like, they were going to just cancel the show. Mm. You know? And then season two came up and then, like, kind of saved the show. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the first season... Okay, the second season started with... Troy getting pregnant. Yeah. Oh and my god, that was giving birth to baby Jesus. Yeah, that's true. But Riker had a beard, so it was all good. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks better. Yeah. They. Um, it's really funny because um, people joke that's like Riker's beard. Riker's beard saved Star Trek because it was like the. It's like the one noticeable feature that like is like that happens different. Different, and then like 
it incre- but like it was also associated with like Star Trek being a little bit higher quality compared the to the uniforms like, also improved. Yeah. Second season. Mm-hmm. Though I did miss like because I remember from season one of Star Trek TNG, like you had like some of the guys wearing like the female like skirty out- skirt outfits. I thought that was a really cute thing, uh, cute thing, you know? Mm. Like, you know how uh, in uh, the original series they had, like, the female uniform, the female uniform mm-hmm. that has, like, the kind of the high cut, the, the, like, high skirt, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, in TNG, like, the first season of TNG, you saw guys wearing those, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. I am very much a fan when a show goes, like, does, like, metro thing, like, metro things. It's mm-hmm. really funny and amusing to me. I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> This show wasn't cowardly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They weren't cowards in this show. But they, it only lasted an episode, right? Yeah, only like lasted an episode. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But yeah, Orville is kind of like the live action version of Lower Decks. Yeah. Um, because it's... the captain is very like. Lucy Goosey yeah. with everything. And it's written by Seth MacFarlane, who did he Seth MacFarlane's the guy in charge of Family Guy. Okay. So like he has a comedy, you know, he has a background, background yeah. in comedy. But yeah. like it plays it straight though. Like Star it, the Orville plays like the Star Trek universe straight. And everything you watch it, it's just nondescript it is uh, legally distinct Star Trek, you know? Down to like even the um like this, they have the same things on like the corner for the communicators. They have like the orchestra that doesn't exactly play Star Trek music, but it kind of sounds like Star Trek yeah. music. Their uniforms, <laughs> like the different colors. Yeah, they have like the... you know, like they have different uniforms. They have like this guy is our Klingon. This is this is our Klingon. Oh, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. our uh, uh, data. data. This is our data. This is our data version of data. You know, like it's it's definitely like okay. We, we need to talk about the Orville one, one of these days. Or actually, hey, we, we might as well just talk about it right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I like how they have... Okay, so they have... Um, what's her uh, character name? Um, from DS9. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ben's lover. I think Kathy, I think. Kathy? Yeah. Anyway, so she she's in it, and mm-hmm. she's a doctor. Yeah. She's a doctor. Um, yeah. Even in the future, uh, she like black women have to be single mothers. Single mothers. Yeah, I didn't like that part. I'm yeah. like, oh, why? Yeah, cute kids though. She has really cute kids. Oh yeah, yeah. Especially the youngest one. Yeah. Like, like I didn't yeah. hate. The, I didn't hate these kids. That's true. Yeah. You know, like it's very easy to like hate a kid in a television show because you're like, oh my gosh. Because a lot of writers don't know how to write children. Yeah. You know. Yeah. He's cute. Yeah, and then, like, you know, the kids are smart, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And... Especially the younger one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, she's good. She's kind of, like, had... She kind of has that trope of, like, black woman wisdom. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She gives her black wi- She gives her black woman wisdom. And the like, kind of the sidekick to the the second captain. Or, not the second... Like, the women captain. The, fir- um, the first officer? Yes. Yes. So, she advises her. Yeah. And also, um, so the the captain and the first officer are um, they were formally married and they were recent they were divorced, right? Mm-hmm. And that's kind of like the main crux of like their relationships. Like they work together, but like on a personal level, there's like a bit of rockiness towards it. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, as the series go- series goes on, it gets really hard to justify being the two of them being on the same ship. In my opinion. Like, it, mm. it, like, if you think of it, it makes sense, like, you would, like, you know, because for her, in the beginning, they're like, oh, it's just a temporary thing, because, like, there's no one else, right? Oh, okay. There's no one else. Yeah. But as the time goes on, you're just like... Yeah. I, the, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, I feel like the, as time goes on, the fact that it's, like, a conflict of interest gets more and more and more, you know, like... Yeah, yeah. Because he is still in love with her. Yeah. I don't know if she's still in love with him, but I, like it's, it's both ways. Like, both ways, both, yeah, yeah. They like they just keep uh, not going, going through other people, other people just for the sake of drama. It's it's te- it's television, right? Mm-hmm. And we wouldn't have a TV show if things went like cleanly. And then this guy, he's his best friend. Best friend, he is like the mess character. He's the Joker. He's like the Joker. He is like you know he is the. Uh, 
kind of like the guy who like always has like awkward moments mm -hmm. you know on purpose though. on purpose yeah. yeah he's he's very awkward he is uh you know he's the one who character. breaks the ice whenever there's yeah. awkward moments he's like oh yeah. by the way yeah something he happened. is he is there to be like well at least the main character isn't the mess like this guy <laughs> yeah you know um i like her uh yeah, she's the um, the security officer. She is from like a species that has um, higher gravity. Like her planet mm -hmm. has higher gravity. Yeah. And as a result, their their species is a lot more stronger yeah. than everyone else. Can because if you compare it to standard Earth gravity, it's like easy. So she can just like mm -hmm. lift things up like really easily. She can like break things super hard just because like higher bone density, like mm. muscular. You know, if you're growing up grown up in a higher gravity situation your yeah. muscles and your bones are going to be different to acclimate to attack. yeah this uh episode actually is when um the team goes to her planet and he has to wear, the captain yeah. has to wear like a full-on like suit to like withstand the gravity of yeah the planet. or like it crushes your bones yeah yeah, yeah. like you, they like toss things out of the ship and like they see they go squish um, so yeah, that was like a very thing, and she was really strong. T there was she was really strong too, which is yeah, like, yeah, you know, emotionally, well, not emotionally. Like that, that was the thing where like they like you know like they targeted her, you know they gave her the challenge of the episode is like dealing with emotional issues, mm -hmm. and then like you know she's like physically gonna break people in half, so like you know guys on the ship might be a little bit like intimidated, reticent, intimidated. Yeah. So yeah. there's that thing. Yeah. And then there's Bordas. 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 Oh boy. These guys are like the Klingons of the show, but man, they're like... It's rough watching some... Was it Mock... Mock... Mocklin? Yeah, Mocklin. Mocklin. Yeah. So these guys... So the, their species is like all male. But yeah. then not. They have... Fe they have the uh, female population. They have a female population, except they're like... They, they just uh, changed their They sex. just changed their set... The gender. genders, yeah. yeah. They just change their genders, and it and it leads to some really interesting like mm -hmm. like the, it's like you know in Star Trek we have like the moral con quandaries right mm -hmm. and uh, the Orville like Bordas gets like all the the like moral quandary episodes mm -hmm. of like this is an alien species do we like do how are we like how like they have values that are like against our value our values yeah yeah but because they're a different species. Like, is that considered racist or, like, mm. or, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, and I like how they didn't actually, like, at the end of the episode where his daughter uh, was forced to go through sex cor corrective yeah, the surgery. surgery yeah. Um, I'm glad that they were not like, oh, uh, Orville won the case. Yeah, 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 it was like, yeah, yeah and you're like... Damn, it, like, yeah, and or Bordas's husband is like the the most. worst, the worst. Yeah, like why can't like he, here's the thing too, and a lot of like I know I know people like complain about, but like there is um there is things in like media where like I feel like gay people can't be happy. Oh. Like there's always that's there's the always people? that's like that's like a trope you see like you saw I saw in Orville it happens in Discovery too like in Discovery a bit too mm. you know with mm -hmm. like there were there's always has to be some like rockiness towards like the relationship or something mm -hmm. like that some tragedy yeah like some tragedy like persecuted why can't pe why can't like you know like honestly I just let gay people be happy like show like a positive gay relationship somewhere on the producers you know. Mm. And have, like, the standard, like, guy and girl, like, relationship be, like, super, like, dysfunctional as it, it, as it always is. Yeah. I mean, even if their relationship is dysfunctional, they're mm -hmm. still married to each Well, okay. Yeah. They're married to each other like, because, like, they have if, to if, kill... Because if, if, if they divorce, yeah. they'd have to kill each other. It, it's, One it's more... person needs to die if, like, they're to divorce. It's more like, okay, if... If, uh... One person is interested in ending their relationship; they'll have to kill them. The yeah. other person. This is very much like a huge, like masculine, like battle warrior race, like race. You know, they're and the they, they're 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 the Klingon. They're the Klingons of this show. They only pee like once a year or something. 
or yeah. 177 or, years or something. Yeah, like they have like different biological things too. Like they're different biologically. They're definitely made to be a lot more alien than like mm-hmm. Klingons were compared to humans, right? Yeah, they procreate by yeah. laying eggs. It is interesting. It is interesting because like uh and something too is uh in Orville they actually have like they have the they have non-human aliens, right? Because in Star Trek, in the Star Trek universe, everyone's kind of like a humanoid shape, you know. But in like the Orville, you have like that, that slime guy. You have the guy who's just oh, like yeah, yeah. made out of slime, and I thought that was really cool, you know. Yeah, yeah, he's in love with the black woman. Yeah. And they have like cool sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, like the Orville's really great. Orville's a really good show, and then you know. I'm a big fan, and it's cool that like. DS9 actors yeah, show yeah. up in like Orville. Or that not that well that's not DS9, that's Voyager. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry. But like, you know, like Star Trek, you know, like Star Trek car- you know, like actors go into the shows, you know. And they have like prosthetics on their heads. I love it. I love it. I love prosthetics. They must be extremely uncomfortable. I didn't like the whole trope of black man who's horny. Yeah. And, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, he was just kind of like an okay character for me. I don't really care for him one way or the other. Yeah. He's just kind of like... He's kind of like the douchebag. Yeah, he's just kind of like a douchebag character. And, you know, like, you know, I guess, like, he fills a role. He fills a role, you know. Uh, he had an episode where he was like, oh, like, I pretend not to be super smart. You know? Yeah, to like, fit in. I mean, that is a yeah. valid thing, because mm-hmm. black boys have to pretend to be dumb okay. to fit in. Yeah, that's weird. I always found that to be kind of weird. Like, I just because, yeah. just like, you know, I'm, I'm Asian, and it's like the exact opposite. You gotta be, like, super smart. Yeah. But yeah, because uh, if you focus on your education as a black boy especially i mean even black girls like because i got i used to get teased about like oh are you trying to be white because you're getting good grades or whatever that's so weird you know like for me it was like you know like i mean that's like growing up like people like associate your race with like how intelligent you are right like i like i got like I was, people, like, were like, oh, you just get good grades because you're Asian. And I'm like, well, I got good grades because I, like, have no life outside of studying. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it it is, I guess, in that respect, we're kind of... Yeah. The opposite opposite spectrum. spectrum. It's the opposite spectrum. And if you're dumb as an Asian, good luck, you know? Like, if you're... Like, do do people make fun of you, or... Yeah, you get made fun of super hardcore, like... By other Asians, or... Everyone! Everyone. Okay. Everyone, like, by other Asians, and then by, like, people outside, because, like, oh, why are you so dumb? You're Asian. You have a genetic, uh, you have a genetic superiority in that regard, right? And it's like, no. Yeah. It, and I think it also plays into uh, the dating market Yeah. for Asian men, mm-hmm. right? Because, like, you're not seen as sexy. Yeah. You're seen yeah. as, like, the nerd. Yeah. We, we've had a big... Talk, uh, talk on this yeah we had an podcast. episode about that yeah but but yeah orville let's uh talk about uh, i think it was clyde the robot guy oh that that's his name sorry i think so oh, oh yeah he's yeah i didn't like how they were like oh the robot the ai is evil the... yeah, yeah, yeah 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 I didn't yeah. like that much either because I just like having the robot character. You know, I like having robot characters, right? Yeah. But I think robot AI AI characters are like really interesting if done well, right? Yes. Like you know, like you have data. someone because they they provide an outsider's perspective on the human function. You know, on the human function, right? Mm, they respond to. They like, respond to it yeah. in a lot of cases. Like you know, they are. You know, they get in the case of um, where the robot character views the humans who created robots, and the humans are technically like the robot's god in a sense, mm-hmm. in that regard. But the robot is actually superior. 
compared to its create yes. compared to its creator. Yeah, yeah. And so it's a really yeah. unique situation. I do love like robot AI like fiction. You know, they fiction. do have that aspect in. Um, yeah. In TNG, they have that. In aspect. Uh, what was it? The show that is grimy. P. Starts with P. Uh. S- Star Trek. Picard. Okay. Picard. Picard. Yeah. yeah. So. The, yeah, they had that in Picard. Yeah, yeah. They had that in Picard. Yeah. Yeah. But did you like that part? Like the um, how AI was depicted. Um. It's it just hit the baseline. It just hit the baseline minimum. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It was it very was, stereotypical. I it think. was very stereotypical, you yeah. know, like didn't like push the mold or anything like that. I think Data himself, Data really, I like mm-hmm. the way Data does it, right? Because yeah. the whole thing is like, oh, we should kill off humanity. That's like, that happens all the time, you know? Yeah. That happens all the time. And then Data has it more of like a positive tone, you know? Data is like kind of curious about it, right? Yeah, and he's sexy. Yeah. Oh, he shows up in Picard, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. They had to do some, like, CGI for, like... Oh, really? You know, because he look, he's actually a lot older than he appeared in, like, Picard. In Picard. Oh, okay. But then, like, with the Data... Because Data is, like, unaging, right? So they had to, like, age, age him down. So he is older, it's just... The actors You older. think they put, like, CGI yeah, to make they him look older? No, they made CGI to make him look younger. Younger, okay. Yeah. Because I was surprised, like, he actually looks good for his age. No, that's CGI. That is okay. 100% CGI. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised because... Yeah. But yeah, I think... I think we can start wrapping things up or did we talk about all the Orville characters? I think we talked about all the Orville yeah, characters. Yeah, we did. Right. We, we out... didn't really cover Steven Universe though. That's fine. That's fine. It's, fine. it's our podcast. We I talk love, about whatever. I love Onion. Yeah. I think... I want to buy some kind of... <laughs> onion accessory. merch? Yeah, merch. Yeah. 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 That's when you know you like love a show where you're just like, I want to buy merch for this show, you know? Yeah. That's always fun. Anyways... Cool. We're heading out. Thank you We're for tuning food. in. Mm-hmm. Um, we usually have this podcast at like 6.30 on Fridays. Nice little talking discussion things. Mm-hmm. See us spawn. Uh, let's see. I think next week is actually we get our little soccer. We get our another soccer co box. So we can yeah, I'm excited about that. I that. love. Uh, I love getting oh, sweets. Oh, mommy. Hey yeah. Yeah, hey yeah. Sorry, sorry we didn't get to sorry we didn't get to your uh the We were topics. not looking at the yeah. comments. Yeah, we weren't looking at the comments, unfortunately. Sorry about that. A lot of dirty jokes. Uh, let's see, found Asian students had a hard time asking for academic assistance even when everyone's struggling with material. Oh really? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like, because like we're expected to just like get it, understand it, right? Oh, okay. You know? Mm-hmm. Steven Universe had a good soundtrack it does like that is another thing about Steven Universe every song Mm -hmm. is catchy every song lives rent free in your head (laughs) you know (laughs) Steven Universe future (laughs) or the one about the the giant I really want to stop the giant woman a giant woman (laughs) anyways Anyways, we're gonna head out. Cool, cool. Okay. I will change it.